together to make this process a successful process. We got the Jews. <laughs> and we got the Jews, our Let's big brothers. Everybody say Joe Saka! Everybody say Joe Saka! You know this name is not strange. So ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, the program today is being streamed live by the Liberian Radio Television Network and the voice of the voiceless, led by Leo the Lion Cisse, is streaming the program live. We have, we have the little booth that are set up around. During the break, you can visit the booth we have an immigration group. So later on, we're doing a long break. You can go around and, and, and get some goodies. Don't forget, the best place to be is on your right hand side. Everybody look on your right hand side. Everybody look on your right hand side and smile. <laughs> so at least every time you see that place, you gotta hope of staying a little bit. That's the best side of the, of the program today, your right hand side. It's on my left, but it's on your right. So, we got Cassava Lee. We got all the soup. We got Jollof. And we got spaghetti. Anything you can think about, we got it back there. While we wait for our culture tune, we'll let the DJ to play us the music. DJ, please. Play the song for us. I know all of these things we're doing here, we need money. The tables, the music, the food, everything was money. So while you sit in your seat, if you want to donate before the actual program, just look at the flyer. I don't know what it was. We're going to pass the flyers around. There's a PR shop number. And the number is... 484-486-3806. But later on, we're gonna pass. Um, and the ATM machine is right across the street. Okay, so it's eighty-five. Yes. 
Father, they provide support, they provide resources, and Father, that on that day, you will provide our number to vote. And so we just want to thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for the best sunshine. And Father, thank you that we are here. We give bless this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Es un honor dirigirme a esta hermosa comunidad y a cada uno de ustedes. Brothers, sisters, friends, and neighbors of Southwest Philadelphia, it is an honor to be here with you today. Mi nombre es Gloria Velázquez. Trabajo sirviendo aquí en mi comunidad en la Iglesia Cristiana La Vid Yeshua. 
cual es pastoreado por mi esposo Samuel Velázquez, ubicada en el 6422 de Dickens Avenue, Filadelfia, a unos bloques de aquí. My name is Gloria Velasquez. I serve here in our community at the Yeshua Christian Church, along with my husband, the pastor, um, Samuel Velasquez, at 6422 Dickens Avenue, a few blocks from here. Southwest Philadelphia, la ciudad del amor fraterno. Philadelphia tiene una de las comunidades de inmigrantes más diversas, hombres y mujeres valientes y esforzados que día a día nos esforzamos por nuestras familias, por nuestra comunidad y como tal necesitamos un representante que hable por nosotros, que les ayude a crear una sociedad más fuerte, equitativa, abordando problemas urgentes e implementando soluciones progresistas para nuestros niños, jóvenes, adultos mayores. The city of brotherly love. Philadelphia has one of the most diverse immigrant communities. These hardworking immigrants struggle daily for their families and for a larger community. We need a representative who can speak for us, who can help us create a better, stronger society and provide progressive solutions for urgent problems facing our kids, youth and adults. Nuestro amigo, vecino, hermano Joe Sacker, es, se postula para la Cámara de Representantes de Pensilvania por el Distrito 185. is here before you to represent District 185 and the PA House of Representatives. Necesita de su ayuda, con su apoyo. Vamos, trabajemos juntos, todos unidos. Vamos, marquemos la diferencia. Seamos una comunidad. Pensamos la barrera de la discriminación por nuestra comunidad. Una comunidad, un pueblo. Dios bendiga el Sahuas de Filadelfia. Dios bendiga Joseph Sacker. Dios bendiga América. We need your support and your vote. Let's work together to make a difference in our community. Fight discrimination and work towards a better future. One community, one people. May God bless Southwest Philadelphia. May God bless Joseph Sackler. May God bless America. Information for the king in this day of Honorable Joseph Sackler from the Spanish community. While our mothers are getting ready to come and do a low welcoming process, it is the traditional welcoming process of their son. We will take Mr. Bonto. We will take uh, David Bonto to come and talk to you a little bit. He is one of the candidates for the Democratic Party. So he's heading to November. So we'd like to call Mr. Bonto, and he will tell you more about himself and why he's here today. Stand up and there's a ball from there. I didn't even know that. You were about to trouble, brother. Hello, Philadelphia. Hello, Philadelphia. That's right, that's right, that's right. How's everyone doing? Are you ready for the Eagles game? If you're an Eagles fan, give it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, what a beautiful day. Wow, wow, wow. Mr. Saka, this is a good start, brother. I can tell you that. Uh, again, my name is David Banta. Uh, I'm a resident of Upper Derby, next to Philadelphia. Those of you who are not familiar with this area. Uh, Thank you, DJ. Thank you. So today I'm going to be brief here because we are here for a reason and only one reason to support Mr. Saka. All right? So uh, quickly, let me introduce someone here that on this uh, Keisha Whitefield. She is from a team, Team David, for 6th District Council. She is the 
coordinator for communication, so she make it happen. And guess what? You know, I'm feeling great right now, Joe, about your team, though. Because you have people on your team that also work for my team to make me get to this space that I'm in. And I'm going to recognize the person, Madam Howard Sherry, that make this happen. All right? So I'm feeling good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think you listened to the introduction. I'm David Bento, a Democratic nominee for Upper Derby 6th District Council. I went in a primary that was open, meaning I did not get the endorsement of the Democratic Party. So the fight left with the street. We had to fight in the street to, to, to win the endorsement. So I went through there and I won a Lisa victory. 421 vote on the top. How that happen? Great team, great strategy, and we work in complete cohesiveness. We work together as a team, and then we got it going. So I'm not going to say a lot today for myself because I'm already right there. We after next is November 7, and then I'm ready for the Republican. We are on it. So. I got into this space because I care about my community. There were things that I personally experienced, and I'm not going to go that route today, but if you see me, see me as any other person out there who is going through what ordinary people go through in our community. And this is what brought me to this picture. And as your candidate, I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to deliver. Mr. Saka, you listen to almost everyone that been speaking. You listen to the pastor, the reverend. And look, guys, I tell you this. This, this fight is not an easy fight. I'm going to tell you that now. So that we can all prepare our minds. How are we going to position ourselves to support Mr. Saka. I tell you that, they're gonna be fight inside, they're gonna be fight outside, and then it's a the fight. What do I mean? I'm suspecting right now, Joe might not even be endorsed to get to where we want to get him to. And simply, we are the one that will have to fight for him. Because at the end of the day, the fight gonna remain with the street. If he don't uh, 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 get an endorsement for the Democratic Party, that means he coming to 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 depend on or to fight for him. Prepare your minds, prepare your pockets, prepare every other thing that you can fight with, so that we can get Joe to Harrisburg. There's no secret about it. I went through it, and it is not easy. And Joe, uh, he, he's a great guy, uh, and he will talk for himself, but I have no doubt in my mind that this man will make a great leader. Because Joe is already doing things that we, we already need to be solved. So today I'm here to support my brother and friend, and I'm going to make sure Mr. Saka will get you through. We'll go fight. So ladies and gentlemen, not to keep you for long, I just want to make sure that if you are a resident of Upper Derby, please, I have my literature right there with uh, Keisha, round one. If you are not even living in Upper Derby, call. You might know somebody. Call November 7. Let them come out and vote so that I can be in council. I have no doubt I'm going to win. By the grace of Allah, God, I'm going to win. So it's not, it's not, I mean, if and but. But still, we have to rally our people. Now, one last piece I'm going to tell you on the team that would be uh, working with Joe. Let us right now start building votes. Let us start building votes. If you are not registered to vote, please register. We will provide all of the resources and they will be right at your fingertip. Please, 
all of what we are seeing today, we can raise better now that we can have the whole Philadelphia marching the street. But if all of us, our number don't translate into physical vote, this man can't get to Harrisburg. So please, uh, with that, Mr. Saga, so I'm not going to make commitment here financially, but I'm going to come through uh, to begin the fundraising process. But brother, thank you very much. So please, Joe is a good man. This man will represent almost everything. Places that I find myself, I work at a juvenile detention center. Our young people are going through. Do you know how the criminal, the juvenile justice system works? Most of the young people here don't even know. There's a system set up for, I believe a couple of you might know it, school to prison pipeline. Have you heard that? Yes. Yeah, those of you that have been going to yes. school. So what that means, most of the kids that are in the juvenile detention center, they are booked right from their classroom. We have to question this thing. Something is not right. But again, uh, when we are in the seat, as, as a Jada Pollitt, if you don't have represent, uh, representation at the seat, it, it, all that we are doing is nothing. But you have to be across the table for these guys that are making the ugly policy to be able to correct some of the because we are, we are all going through it. I live on a one-way street. People drive from the left side to the right side, hit the kid. We have to face this thing. There's no one else in Harrisburg now, even in Washington, D.C. It's right around your corner. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you. And go, family and ego! Mr. Sato, glory! Thank you. God bless America and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Banker. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Thank you. Come and greet their son. Our mothers will come and say, they will come and continue Juju, Wele Juju, Kukule, Kawadi, Mr. Sakama, or the Saka. I want to recognize the person of this the CEO and president of the Gerardo Real Estate Group. All of you that are seeing that means, I would like to say welcome.
supporting Joe and seeing the amazing feeling that it is to have your people's support being recognized being supported it's just an amazing feeling and if I see it from the outside I can imagine what Joe feels like so I'm very happy that you are here for him but not just to show my support for Joe but also to, to realize that as immigrants, as people who are creating a life for ourselves and our children and our new generations to come, we need someone like him in Harrisburg. We need people that know our pain, we need people that understand where we come from and that are there to help us change the status quo. We need people that change, that brings the change that we need so we're no longer invisible, so we're no longer people who are just 
in the system paying taxes. We need people in Harrisburg who can help us grow and our children have better opportunities. So I'm here because I care and I want to support Joe in his journey. And I feel that the more we support him, the more we can get more people on board. Because it takes the work of one person, but everyone that we can touch and bring along this cause is going to be a huge help. So, hey, let's give a round of applause for Joe and all he needs for us. Thank you. So we would like to say now for Mr. Kala, please. Um, he comes from a humble background and he's encouraging us to push and we were going to get that together. Another friend of Honorable Sako, Shadi Peterman, a former regional rep. The United Nations Refugee Agency. This is the background of Mr. Saka. Refugee, refugee. Everybody say refugee! Refugee! Wow. I'm very happy. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm an I can't see the District 185. I am so honored. Uh, privilege to be here. This is a, a real uh, surprise for me. I didn't know the Jason was going to run for office. So I'm here as a character reference, nothing more. Uh, I don't live in Philadelphia. I live in, in Maryland. Uh, I love Philadelphia. I have friends that live here. I, uh, I would support the Phillies if I wasn't the Mets fan. <laughs> I would support the, the Eagles if I wasn't a Ravens fan. But I will support Joe. Uh, anyway, so I know Joe Sith now since 1990. So that's a really long time. And, and uh, I feel in a way that I'm coming to this as a, a high school coach. You know, like, how was Joe? He was great on the soccer team. Uh, he, he, put, you know, he brought the refugee high school students together and we would play soccer and he was really good at that and so on. But that's not what you want to hear. And that's not really what's most important. It's like the, the Reverend was saying before, it's the calling to leadership. And, and as the chairman of the Liberian Refugee Students Committee, I think that was your title, was it? Maybe it was president. Um, of the Liberian, of the LRSC, and in the work that he did subsequently, years later after coming to the United States, to help establish with me as well in another role, the Refugee Congress here, to bring the voice of refugees to the table uh, in, count, in cities, uh, with other organizations, uh, whether they're non-governmental or municipal or uh, in Washington, D.C., or at the state level, refugees have, have a voice, and people like Joe, and for office recently, are really the future uh, leaders of America, and their children, and now grandchildren, will learn from them, and I think that's really great that Joseph has taken on the, you know, the, the, the challenge of representing you in, uh, in Harrisburg, and I will support his candidacy, and uh, I will always stand by Joe uh, when, it comes to, when it comes to his volunteer work and when it comes to his electoral work. So all the best, good luck, and I hope you win. Yeah. That was a powerful one. Uh, you heard him, he said he knows Mr. Sako since 1990. And every time they talk about 1990, those from Liberia, you know what we're talking about. So if Mr. Sako was strong 1990 fighting for immigrants, Mr. Sako can be strong today fighting for us. So let us support him. Put their hands together again. At this point, we would like to call on the doctor of Mr. Sako to introduce our honorable. Um, put the hands together. Oh, my was already ready. 
Okay. I think she knows her dad better than I would do. It is my great honor to introduce to you a man of resilience, dedication, and unwavering commitment to public service. My father and mentor, Joseph. He is not just a candidate for Pennsylvania State Representative District 185, but a beacon of hope and symbol of the American dream. Mr. Sackhorn's journey to this stage is inspiring, short of inspiring. He is a former refugee from Liberia who has turned the trials of his past into a passion for serving others. His experiences have instilled in, in him a deep understanding of the struggles faced by many in our community and a determination to make a difference. As a proud father of four beautiful children, Mr. Sackhorn understands the importance of creating a safe, prosperous, and inclusive community for our future generations. His love for his family is a testament to his character and his commitment to the values that we hold dear. Mr. Sackhorn is not just a candidate, but a community advocate. He has shown time and time again that he will do anything to help his community. His dedication to community service is evident in his tireless efforts to uplift those around him and his unwavering commitment to make a positive impact. Today we stand with Mr. Joseph Sackor, a man who embodies the spirit of resilience, the power of perseverance, and the promise of a brighter future. We stand with a man who is not just running for office, but is committed to to serving his community and making a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Joseph Sackor, my caring and loving father, and our candidate and next representative for Pennsylvania State Legislative District 185. Everybody, at this point, I am too little to coordinate this process right now. Uh, when it comes to coordinating that part of the process, and I know why. So I will call my big brother King Mohammed to pick up for you. This time I'm scared anymore because I'm the big, I'm the big part of the program. Mohammed and the chair lady to come and work on the the chair lady and King Mohammed. They will coordinate. Thank you, Musa. Thank you very much. I. Uh, very much appreciate it. I think you over exaggerated stuff. I am not the bigger person here, but my big sister here is the big fish. Our sister is somebody who makes things happen. But however, I want to say thank you. How is that now? We the current go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, Charlie is here with me. And before we can do that, normally there's a tradition in politics, I mean modern politics. You know, they call it uh, battle crap. So now they can say, Do it, Dama, get it, do it, Dama, get it, do it, Dama, get it. And you know, uh, when you got a young baby, and the first step of that child, the parent can be so happy. You know, the mom can be so worried. So as they take that first step, then she in my degree, they can say, I want to let time get do let time get So that's what it means. Leo Kamara, my little brother, is going to do the battle cry. Oh, say, William, 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 We started a battle class here for the now governor of Pennsylvania. Governor Cole, uh, Josh Appeal. Do you remember? We started a battle class and today's a repeat of that. As we chant this battle class, we are quite sure with the spirit, the positive spirit of the immigrants, all the girls talk over me, left to represent our hopes and aspirations. On the basis of that, we to rise with energy and turn this
Thank you. Right here. is a community involvement. We cannot address gun violence without bringing the community together. Communities do not change by themselves, but human beings will have to change those communities. And we are those change agents. And this is why I am running to make sure that we work together. We are not going to leave it alone. We will work together to provide solutions to our own issue. That's why you are next step. As a next representative, we also want to be advocating for stricter gun restriction while respecting responsible gun owners. What I will do as a next representative, because I am seeing it is very, very beautiful. You go to the parks, they are very empty. You cannot see, you cannot see the children playing at the park anymore because they are afraid. The parents are afraid. So we need to do something. And what will distinguish me from the other legislators is that of our empathy because I've seen it. We lost so many neighbors due to gun violence. Our little needs uh, accountability, my whole. So rest in peace, lots of the gun violence. So therefore, we're going to be very tough on that. As a representative, what I also want to do is that uh, community policing. We will make sure that uh, many of our brothers are in the police. Woo! funding for law, for law enforcement agencies to make sure that the uh, areas that need to be protected all our communities that we will have the necessary equipment to do so. The next pillar of our campaign has to do with uh, economic development, the job creation. We have seen so many young people walking around, they go to the park, I see them. They do not have jobs. But I ask them, Mr. Saka, I need a job. 
many of these young people that went to jail, when they come back from there, they don't have anything to do. So we have to come up with a program that needs to address that. We have to come up with a program to address that. Homelessness, the causes of homelessness, all of those issues need to be addressed. There's a proliferation of uh, homeless spots in the district. We got to take care of that. Another thing that we need to do is to increase home ownership in District 185. We will work with our real estate agencies, with our banks, to make sure that uh, the loans are available. And uh, we will also advocate for policies or legislation that will make funding available to incentivize the first-time home buyers. We will do that by giving them, as a home, to, as a first home buyer, first-time buyers, we will make sure that at least I will give them thousands of dollars to encourage them, at least to help them with their first payment. That will encourage our people. The other thing that we want to do as part of our uh, economic uh, development is to have a training. We have young people that are leaving high school. Many of them do not want to go to college, but what do we do? We need to come up with a training program by liaising with other institutions like our, our community colleges so that they can train when they graduate from high school, they have something to do. So, as your next legislator, we will make sure that we have a funding available at least to do that for our young, for our young people. The other thing is the promotion of tourism. Southwest Valley has now become a, a, an attraction area, and uh, we have to do more. But that, I will support the, the Chinatown, I mean, the Africa Town project, because we need to have an Africa Town. We need to have an Africa Town. If we can have a Chinatown, we should have an Africa Town. Part of our, part of our, uh, our, our economic platform is that uh, we have our businesses. They need loan. They need grants. We need to give them money to encourage them. We need to encourage them. They are creating jobs. Our mothers are creating jobs. Our sisters are everywhere. Okay? So we need to give them money. One thing that we need to do is to work with our federal and our municipal uh, counterpart to make sure that instead of you carrying your containers all the way to uh, Baltimore and something, you will ship right here in Philadelphia. We also need to work with our, our, our airlines. There will be, God's willing, when I am elected, we will make sure that uh, we have uh, so many direct flights from Philadelphia instead of traveling all the way to, uh, to New York, New York, and other places. You will fly from here in Philadelphia to a lot of African countries. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's come to another important part of our platform healthcare. We have so many other doctors here. As many of you know, I am a director of the Federal Health Commission. One thing that I would never compromise as a legislator, our mother's Medicaid, I'm not going to compromise for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. We will make sure we protect the Medicaid for our own people. For all Pennsylvanians. Because it's very important. Okay. The other thing is that the children. Our children have insurance. Has to be protected as well. That's very important. As your next legislator, I'll make sure that that is protected. We have to support community health care centers. Okay? Preventive measures. We want to make sure that we give them enough money to take care of our community. We will advocate for expansion of our Medicaid so that many people are getting insurance. The unemployment rate, as I mentioned right now in our uh, know, district, is over 10 percent. So the underlying cost of not having insurance. We have the that's way above the, uh, the national average. And we need to bring that down. So as a legislator, I am going to uh, I am going to hire an economic advisor that will devise strategy how we can bring new businesses into our into our district.
Well, we have been distributing food in our neighborhoods. There will be funding available to our families, the food banks, to continue to support our people. Not everybody. I met one of the district, one of the constituents, who told me that uh, my son, I have a three grandchildren. I'm retired, but I cannot afford. The uh, cash assistance is, is not enough to feed my three children. So what can I do? So I depend on this uh, winter distribution to take care of these grandchildren. So as a legislator, we'll make sure that there's a funding available for all these uh, food banks. The other one is quality education. Quality education is very important. If you look at all of these uh, schools that are here, nearly more than 50% of the, uh, between 40 to 50%, one of that, they're all in the children. We have to come out with a strategy to make sure that our children have a quality education. Your, the quality education does not have to depend on the zip code that you live. It does not have to be so. We will make sure that, that we, we provide enough funding. $13.8 billion is allocated for education for fiscal year. $13.8 billion. We want to make sure that our, most of our money comes to our community and our children are educated. The other thing that I want on education is child, early childhood education. Research shows that early childhood education can significantly impact child's future process. So as mothers, we will make sure that there is some money available. So that we can send your children. You have a time to go to work, and uh, that money we can, uh, we can use it to prepare your children for the future. And finally, the uh, Safe and clean neighborhood. Clean neighborhood. You know, there is a correlation between the economic development and the economic thrive and that of the cleanness of the neighborhood. All right? So, what I would do as a next legislator is to work with our city. It's the work of our city to make sure that they have the funding to increase the collection of our trash in our city. There yeah, are a lot of dilapidated uh, 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 you know, houses around here, so there should be funding to turn them into something meaningful. Work on for our ethnic based organization, work on for our organizations that make funding available to them so that they can make use of those abilities instead of all, having it there without any use. So you, you the community organizations, you the non-profit organization, the churches and the market that are doing a good thing for our children, for our community, you will have a funding as a legislator. That's right. Yeah, you have heard the fabulous. But I cannot do this thing alone. I cannot do that alone. As you probably heard, everything that I said there is a we, 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 we. Because one hand cannot clap. You need, I need the assistance of everyone. We need your votes. We need everything. Someone was telling me that we may not get the endorsement of the, uh, of the Democrat. But yes, what I can tell you is that uh, I do not need any kind of high endorsement. I need your endorsement. Your endorsement is enough. So ladies and gentlemen, you will hear more from me. You will hear more from me. This is our first time. We will make some errors. But what I can assure you, I will be the same Joseph Sacco that you have known all those years. I will work with you. I will, I will seek your opinion. I will open a suggestion box to our district. By the way, the district comprises of a 34 or 35 percent white people, 13 or 14 percent Hispanic, Asians, and other folks. So therefore, 54 percent are African Americans and black. So I will be representing all of them. Making sure that 
their voices are represented. So, I beg you, this is just the beginning, to announce to the world that uh, I am running, but the work ahead of us is going to be an uphill battle. Look, looking at the, uh, the processes that we have ahead of us, it's going to be an uphill battle. But well, because of that, we are not shy away from a battle. When it comes to fighting for your interests, I am ready to, you know, for that fight. I am ready for that fight. I will fight for your interests. I will fight for you day and night. And thank you so much for being here today. May God bless you. And let's go get a vote. And uh, we will represent you next year, 2024. Thank you. Send him, 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 send him,
Hello, everywhere. I'm not standing for myself. I'm standing on behalf of my non-profit organization called Royal Children Foundation Academy. Mr. Sarko, I want to say thank you for standing in the community. Well, say more, I'm in a family, so I'm not standing here for that. But I'm standing here for my NGO, for everything. Mr. Sarko, I've asked you for a for long way, a very long way. So for me to see Mr. Sarko in the race, I'm so, so happy. Mama is out here, Sebum. Mama is out here today. Yes, so on behalf of uh, my organization, I'm not pleasing, but I'm giving it right now. We are giving $200 to you, man, to support your husband. Thank you, sweetheart. God bless you. We will keep standing behind your husband. That's why we call wife. And we will make sure that Joseph carry in. So we all can be proud of him. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, when we call your name, you come, you speak, and you make a donation. Let's join me welcome. Louisiana Organization for Immigrants, Mr. Dauda Sese. When you speak, you make a donation. Give a big hand clap for him. Good afternoon, Philly. Let make noise for Josako. Yes. I know we can do better than that. Let's try one more time. We have 18, and I believe we got now more energy. Let make another noise for Josako. Yeah. Um. Once again, um, as I got, my name is Dauda, I'm Sise, and I flew all the way from Louisiana and come right here to support a mentor, a brother, Joe Sacco. And I believe you all listened to his five points and peers. And when he spoke, and I listened attentively, and every word that it mentioned and promised through my experience with Joe and I know for sure he's going to deliver. Joe is a man of his word. I got in contact with Joe in early 2017 when I joined the Refugee Congress. Joe became a mentor to me, supports me through my way, and today, through his guidance and support, I have become a leader that has touched the lives of thousands, thousands of immigrants, not just in the state of Louisiana, but across the United States. So when I say Joe is a man of his word, I meant it because when he promised to mentor me, to guide me, and he fulfilled that. And my work don't, don't stop. Right here in Philly, right here in Philly, November 14, we are opening our office, which is going to be opening to all immigrants, and especially our African immigrants, right here in Philly. We are going to be offer free immigration legal services, housing support, education, you name everything right here. Wow. Who created that person to do that? Joe Sacco. Empower me to be that leader. And he just doesn't empower me, he supported me through that journey. Through Joe Sacco, I was able to go and speak to our United States Congress, testify to strengthen and expand the refugee resettlement. Joe Sacco laid that foundation. And why he invested so much? 
not just me, but other refugee leaders, and I believe other immigrant leaders, why here in this state of Pennsylvania? Because he walked that journey. And why I took up that responsibility as well? Because I came in here in the United States as a refugee from Sierra Leone. And I spent over 13 years in a refugee camp. But because of my experience, I changed lives in Louisiana, and now we're doing the same across the United States. And we are bringing it right here. Joe has spoken today. But guess what? He needs your support. He needs your support. He cannot do all of this alone. He's going to do it with you. Three ways you can support Joe before I close. Three ways. Number one, donate. Alright. If you check your pocket right now, you have any cash, please don't go without cash. Bring it right here and donate. And I believe you can donate what? They are online as well. Give that support. The team that are here, they need money, they need cash to push that campaign. Tell them to raise their hand. We have a bucket. <laughs> so if you have cash to donate, please raise your hands. Raise your hands. Number two, you have to vote. Make the pledge today that you will vote. Not just you're going to vote, you're going to bring somebody with you to the poll to vote. Pledge that you will bring a minimum of two persons to the poll. Make that pledge. And guess what? When Joe is at that office, guess what? He's going to need other people for him to vote for legislation. So when you go to vote, vote for people that stand for the same the same issue as Joe, because that way Joe will be able to have the support inside here. That number several times, no response. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. No, Je ne peux pas dire que, que je représente euh, la communauté guinéenne euh, venant de Conakry, mais nous sommes tous des guinéens. Je m'excuse d'avoir quand même exprimé en français, parce que c'est la seule no problem, que no je plus vite que possible. Good evening, everybody. Euh, de me voir ici ce soir, c'est venir soutenir mon frère Joe Sarko. Vraiment confiance qu'il a pu me porter. Je ne peux pas rester aussi silencieuse sans dire un mot à ce monsieur. À ne pas prendre du temps, je n'ai pas beaucoup, mais quand même je lui supporte avec une somme de 100 dollars à ce monsieur. Le fait d'avoir se déplacer, de venir juste dans ma maison et me prouver que, que vraiment nous sommes tous des Africains. Je l'apprécie et puis je lui soutiens. Merci tout le monde d'être ici. Merci. Merci. Good afternoon. Uh, more than no, to all of our good friends, thank you for being here, for supporting our Team Joe Sako agenda to represent us in the parliament. My auntie sitting here, Tante Haida Fata Sano, please raise your hand, Tante. Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Tanti Haida Fata and the family have gone hundred dollars. Haida Fata Sano. And we're still running it up. We stay here. We stay here to contribute the world. Team Joseph Sako Echanga. Sister Matila, please raise your hand. On behalf of Sister Matilda and the family, three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, ah, Musa Okan, the best for body for body. Musa Sama is. One of the backbone of our community. So we want to hear from him more than what he just did. You say again. Uh, Assalamu alaikum again. Uh, having said that, 
I'm part of Team Joseph Sako Communication Committee. My donation this afternoon is on behalf of me and my family, my beautiful wife here. She's the most beautiful wife on earth. Raise your hand. And I will send hundred dollars on cash app. With respect to quadro burden, I will be meeting quadro burden leadership, and we will send our donation through. But for now, on behalf of me and my family, we got a hundred dollars. I'll send our cash app. So sell. Ladies and gentlemen, let's grab the next donation. Ah, uh, again, more Siago. No, it's a recording. It's a I'm not want to sleep. Hey, wait, no, it's okay. okay. You go, sis. What? <laughs> what are you going? That little man boy, that a chemist for an man boy, chemist for an man here. Eh, my body, my Ali Jabate, I want to be a man. That a chemist, I be we press here, Ali Jabate. John, We are here to fight and we will continue to fight to Joe become the next wreck for our community. Uh, we will fight, inshallah. Mama said, I guess I'm a busy boss. I will start with fifty dollar fresh from where I will be my daughter. You saw it. We get it next person, next person. But before we do that, we have the table right here. So, so we got the table right here. And we got the raffle ticket here. Please, let's have a down on the TV. Hello? The raffle tickets are just one dollar. When you buy it, look here. A chance to, to get a set of TV. You can buy smart TV. You buy a raffle ticket for a dollar. You have a chance. You have, you have a set of chance to get a 32 inch smart TV. Or you can get any of these hygiene baskets. Alright? <laughs> Okay, so uh, I want to get increase your chances. Buy more tickets and increase your chances. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This message is from my elder sister, Aja Manaka Kupana. Please raise your hand. Uh, she considered Joe Sako as a son, and I consider Joe Sako as a brother. So on behalf of my sister, not to prolong your time, but initial contribution to this campaign is $100. Where's the basket? Where's the basket? And Haja Manaka Fufana. If you're not sure, say no, please, next to her. Um, yeah, she's sitting right there. Thank you very much, Aja. And from a good friend, Mohammed Kamara, a.k.a. Kubamo Kamara. Unfortunately, she couldn't make, I mean, he couldn't make it today. Uh, his daughter is getting married in Maryland, so he dedicated for me to uh, present $50 to Joe's campaign. Uh, this is just an initial contribution and uh, we will follow through, inshallah. Mohammed Kamara, a.k.a. Kubamu, from Northeast. And on behalf of my family, Abraham Fofana and my beautiful wife, Massa Fofana, from Northeast, our initial contribution, $50. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Money is talking. We've got some people here who want to make 5,000 pledge. 
Five thousand and four thousand in pledge. You can come and make a pledge and pay little by little. Even up to the income tax. Abu Abu Bakar, what do you mean by this? Be up here. You should be where you come. We have to do the raffle. We have to do the raffle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? Okay, you're coming. Yeah, I'm moving around. That's why I'm moving around. That's why I'm moving around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Salamu alaikum warahmatullahi taala barakatuh. Okay, come here. Okay. Let me move you. Come here. Um. Somebody want to pay? Yeah, we get it. Okay. 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 Okay.
On behalf of my beautiful wife, Fatfata Kamara, and my beautiful children, and I, here to donate $100 to support the campaign of this society. Ladies and gentlemen, we say, and by the grace of God, we're on track for it to happen. This community is so strong, so united, so, so together, and we stand behind Joe Saka. Uh, Joe Saka, this is a check coming from our brother and our sister from the Manding restaurant. Mr. Kaba and his wife, Malu Fufana Kaba, they don't know the I just came from New York, New Jersey, just to be here on time for this program tonight. On behalf of me and my family and the old man, the people of New York, I will let them come to be the amount of $500. Thank you. Indeed, thank you so much, indeed. We know you for that. Uh, we know you for that. Uh, Brother Joe Sagwa, your mothers, you in the community. They in here. Please take it. 
for our every event, so if you can put everything in the trash bag. Let's see the next person that has to do this on here today. Yes. It's zero six. If you have to send a cell or send a cash app, you can send it to you. Uh, 44, 486, 306. And you will see Joseph Saba on that number. 484. 486 We want to thank everybody. Thank you for your present. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your support. So ladies and gentlemen, please give all your learning ears, please. We want our community to know the people that are giving, making these sacrifices, the people that are making the donations. We want you to listen very carefully. This one is coming from our own sister. We all know Sister Mama Donzo. Mama Donzo is one of the women in our community that has come to be an amazing. Every time you call upon Mama Donze, she's around. When I was the president of uh, Nina, I know how much she did. How hard she worked to keep our years in memory. So today she's here again to make the donation of cat and handsome donation of $250. Ladies and gentlemen, please get it out for Mama Donze. Stand up. Mama Donze, please stand up. Hi Mama Donze. Okay guys, hey, thank you so very much. Like I said, we're going to take for this campaign. No amount that's too large, no amount that's too small, okay? We're going to take every cent, okay? But now, you can also contribute to the campaign in so many ways, okay? So many ways. Like now, our brother, Milad, they now work on these t-shirts. You know see? They now work on these t-shirts. His pleasure of doing 6,000 flyers worth close to 700 United States dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, please give out to our brother, Milad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right? That's a man. Thank you, thank you so very much. That's a man. That's a
Thank you. Yeah, ticket, get yeah, a ticket, get yeah, a ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, we are collecting donations. We want you to come up and make a donation. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to our able treasure who also donated a check of $1,000. Is Brother Musa Wali here? Is Brother Musa Wali here? Okay. Um, the Honorable Chairman just recognized me and said I contributed $1,000. Uh, I didn't expect it. However, that is just the beginning. Inshallah. We're going to have to make sure to, to make sure that Nobody else represents District 185 except for Joe Sako. Joseph Sako, our only Joseph Sako, inshallah. I want to recognize here also one of our brother Musa Trawali, uh, the one that represents us at Akana, uh, fighting for us every day. He also donated on behalf of his family $1,000. Yeah. And I also want to recognize our uh, uh, Madame here, Madame Sako, she's not only supporting moral support to our candidate, but also she's making financial. She said that is just the beginning. All right. And as time goes by, we'll give you the names to, of the people that have already donated. Um, yeah. everything that you did for us. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your church. Thank you. Thank you. Alright? Uh, I think we'll move on. Ladies and gentlemen, thousand dollars. You don't have to have it here today. You know, brothers, you are here. We want your support. So we will take pledge. We appreciate cash. We appreciate pledges. So please come forward. Anybody who wants to contribute one thousand dollars to be on rocker, please raise your hand. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Anybody? Five hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. We will come back. Donzo, for the donzo, pledge of five hundred dollars. Who's going to say go to? Alright, I'll follow all you, bro. Thank you, thank you so very much. Guys, we know we got some big shots in the place here. Why are we waiting to do the raffle? Let's call on the Iman to come and say something real quick. And also, maybe. Okay. Uh, we are here. Uh, I understand. He pledged $500. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 I want you to call your name. Hi, my name is Sol. Yes, yes. Our team member to call this number. Oh, no. Get your tickets out. Get your tickets out. I'm checking mine. <laughs> support him 
and inshallah we look forward to victory. Thank you so much. Thank you.